Hello and welcome back to our Revit Architecture 2009 Fundamentals. We're talking about drafting views in this lesson and I'm just in a basic uh, empty project that I've started and with that I have a drafting view already created and what drafting views are there 2D views that you can draw and sketch and import the other details you can create a drafting view and import a DWG detail and then you can also blend that with um, detail components that come with Revit off of the drafting tab so drafting views are 2D views within that 2D view you can import uh, images okay like uh, bitmaps and JPEGs and stuff you can also import other uh, DWG or DGN or uh, other 2D vector uh, details and then you take those drafting views and place them down on your sheets and on the drafting view which is 2D you can put text and you can put dimensions and you can add in all kinds of great uh, built-in detailing tools that come with Revit so um, there's a certain amount of detail you get when you create sections and callouts of your model objects you will get um, some section and details as well those these detail components can be used on your live sections okay as well as just um, basic detail views you created 100 percent from scratch I'll just double click on this detail view here and this is just an example of some of the objects this is a line that's been arrayed these are just regular little detail lines over here and I've got a fill pattern as well if you hit tab etc you'll see you have different objects in there okay this is some line work with some a fill pattern okay I hit tab there's a fill pattern I can take that fill pattern and move it around etc okay this is also a built-in Revit component where I can take this break line and I can you know do a little bit of work to to get what I want with that so we have these type of objects this is a repeating detail okay if I right click and say create similar what that is is I can just go up here and create that very easily by using what is a repeat detail which is a, a detail component which is a CMU block and then put into a detail component family right here in this drawing and I can click on that after the fact and I can stretch this out and I can also take one of these guys here and use a control button I can copy that over place that over there okay now what happens it's behind that object now I can use my bring to front so notice with detail components we have our draw order bring to front send to back because these are all 2d objects over here okay I can take this guy and I can say mirror that you know about a point somewhere over here click it move it down to there I can create all kinds of neat little repetition or re what are called repeating details okay I'm just going to click on here and delete this so we have a, a, a great deal of built-in Revit detailing components we have fill patterns okay we have uh, text with arrowheads over here we have all kinds of uh, we can use keynotes and all kinds of great stuff so this detail drafting view here that I've created is 100% uh, gr from the ground up using just the tools that come here with Revit okay we can also go in and make another detail or drafting view by going to our view tab on here right click and going to the view tab and saying drafting view or I can just go view new drafting view and it creates a new drafting view and I can call this you know um, handrail okay and I'm gonna say well I know it's a small so I'm gonna make it a big scale I can change that after the fact and hit OK now I have another new drafting view from here I can say file and I can say import and I can import a CAD file okay built into the uh, training files under Im Imperial uh, actually under the Imperial library folder I should say under detail components that's what I'm talking about Imperial library detail components this is where all your 2d drafting details are coming from okay 
because your 3D sections are not going to give you all the detail you want. You fill it in with all this stuff. This is the detailing stuff. goes in our drafting view. So inside of there, I'm going to um, pick on... Uh, no, I am not going there. I am going back to my Training Files folder. Under Imperial. Okay, this is what I wanted right here. I'm importing a DWG. Sorry about that getting a little off track. So I'm going to import the that handrail detail. Okay? And do I want to invert the colors or do I just want to bring it in in black and white? Okay? The positioning is good. I'm going to leave everything else the same. Layers I can say visible or specify the layers that I want to bring in. Okay? Hit open. I'm bringing in that and it's now in here. But where is it? I, I zoom around you know if you can't see it this is like an AutoCAD thing all of a sudden right we can say zoom to fit over here sorry zoom to fit boom and there's our detail so now we have a detail here which is homegrown Revit objects we have a detail over here now I can go down to my sheets and say um, view new sheet and I can use that sheet or whichever one I want now inside of there I can say okay well let's bring in that footing detail okay let's bring in that handrail detail okay so two different details brought in on my sheet that will follow the scale if I change the scale they will get bigger or smaller and adjust accordingly with the adjustments so these are drafting views over here okay as we go in and create content etc and we draw our walls and roofs and stuff like that um, we create sections and sections are kind of like drafting views but they're they're representative of the 3d if I go in here and I draw a section through here okay and then double click on that there's my section now within that section I can go back and I can do I can add detail components I can use these drafting detail tools within my section but yet they're being used in a hybrid environment with these actual Revit objects okay and the section is being saved over here these are true live sections you can add detail information to and these are drafting views 2D views okay of either just Revit 2D objects or imported CAD stuff or a hybrid once I'm inside of here I can actually go back and you know draw detail information on top of this AutoCAD file if I want and I can add in fill patterns I can take this AutoCAD and explode it I can do a full explode or partial explode if there's nested blocks fully explode it explodes that out and now I can go in and I can actually take that AutoCAD detail and um, edit that stuff okay so now as you add in detail components okay like more of what's on this one although we can you can see we can do a combination of Revit 2D detail components and tools with our now exploded AutoCAD stuff okay or combination thereof and we can also cut and paste details from one project to the other we'll show you that in the next lesson so um, just as an overview here of what a drafting view is okay and how we can go in and create details uh, in that drafting view and then we can take those drafting details and place them here on our sheets and the last thing I should point out here is that the problem um, with dragging a drafting view straight to here although this is perfectly valid sometimes we want to take one of our handmade drafting views and actually reference it back to the model where the section is taking place right so watch how we do this we go to level one what I'm going to do I can do it here but I'm gonna go to my section by double clicking and then now I'm gonna do a little call out over here and say okay I'm going to go view new call out or we can do it from our view tab Okay, watch. I'm going to create a call out here. Okay. Oops. I'm going to back that up. I went too quickly. Do this again. Um, view, new, call out. And what I'm going to do here, this is important. I'm skipping right over it. I need to say reference other view. And now I can create a call out of 
what is one of my drafting views. Aha! You see? Click. Now when I go like this, bunk, it's done. Escape, escape, click on here, and then I can move this over to wherever I want. Oh, that's not quite what I wanted here. and now I have that detail of that and if I double click on this detail it's now linked to here which means all the way down at my sheet level everything is working properly okay so now on this sheet I've got a drafting view here and I've got a drafting view there that I can see what's been placed on the sheet and when I go back to my first floor I can double click on the section and then double click on this and it goes right to that call out so there's a nice lesson for you on referencing a drafting view to a call out